Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. ¿Qué tal de lluvia por allí? Tremendo, ¿verdad? Very strong. Yeah. I know, I know. Congratulations, teacher. I thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We have been resting today. <laughs> Enjoying the free time. So we have been resting a little bit. What about you? How are you? Fine, fine. Yes. Fíjense que me encontré hoy un link que se los voy a compartir para todos los que les gusta eh, hacer ejercicios. ¿Verdad? Los que les gusta hacer ejercicios pueden uh, divertirse con ganas. Así que ahí se los voy a poner. Today eh, we are going to be working more bueno, it's, it's grammar today, grammar class, right? We are going to be talking about requests. We're going to be using uh, or making polite requests. Uh, that's why we are going a little bit back to the grammar point of unit six, right? That was making polite requests. And we are going to do different exercises related to that, to that topic. No vocabulary today, so you will be practicing more uh, structure. Okay. Vamos a ver. And basically, we will be doing different types of exercises, and we are going to be talking about all the models that we use to talk about requests because it's not only good and night, but we have some other models that we use and well, we are going to be using them. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay, let's call attendance right now. See how many people we are. Let's see, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Thanks. Nice. Ana Alicia. Mariana. Carlos Josué. Carlos. David. Hola, teacher. Ahí. Eh, estoy en un tráfico eh, que no se imagina. Así que. Le creo, le creo. Me en, la, en la calle, entonces yo estaba monitoreando el Waze y es horrible, la calle se ve roja. Sí, así que por aquí va a estar de oyente mientras no se me pierda la señal. Ok, perfecto, David. Diego. Present. Dead with Mauricio. Present, teacher. Elda Cristina. Present, teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, no here. Gemma Carolina. Gemma. Jessica. Jessica. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Karen. Karen Stephanie. 
Karen. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizette Ayanara. Present teacher. Okay. <coughs> Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Rebeca. No, ya. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Grace. Grace. No here. Rosailda. Present teacher. Uy, que se me habían hecho. Teacher, el lunes en el seguro salí como a las 11 de la noche y ¿Qué? ayer me sentía mal, no, no me conecté. Wow. Qué tremendo. Sí, 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 a mí me extraño. Y lo raro es que también, este, Luis, faltó. No, pero ahí sí yo no sé qué pasa con él. <risa> Yo dije, ¿cómo estás, Sonsonate, San, eh, Aguachapán? No, pero por salud, este, ayer me iba a conectar como a las nueve, pero cayó una tormenta horrible. Sí, tremendo, tremendo, tremendo. Hoy ya cayó una tormenta también aquí, terrible, terrible, terrible. Un montón de calles inundadas, hoy fue San Salvador. También son sonatis y están reparando las calles, todas están así como de tierra, está un solo desastre ahorita. Sí, de que ha habido una de calles inundadas, las que regularmente se inundan cuando llueve y hoy que llovió horroroso, está tremendo. Luis Mauricio, ¿no está aquí? No está. Bien poquitos veo, bueno, me imagino que por la lluvia. Diego. Thank you, Nubia. Thank you very much. Vaya, vamos a llamar eh, de retroceso por los que se hayan conectado tardecito. Vamos a ver, Luis Mauricio, Grace Michelle, Rodrigo, Rebeca, eh, Karen Stephanie, Karen Janet. Jessica, Gemma, Elmer Fabricio, Carlos. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ah, me voy conectando. Eh, escucho que me menciona mi nombre. Elmer. Ah, ok, Elmer. Eh, Carlos José, Ana. Ok. Bueno, como les comentaba, hoy vamos a estar trabajando con Grammar. Let's share. Vamos. Anna, hello. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. No le oí cuando pase lista. I am in la, la cat because I couldn't get to my home because of the rain, teacher. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening. Dadas. So I have to stay in another house. <laughs> wow. wow. ¿Y su casa se ha inundado? No, the streets in San Salvador. Oh. And so we couldn't come back to our home yeah. because of the streets. Yeah, everything is inundated. That's flooded. That's what we call flooded, right? A lot of water everywhere. Hi, Oscar. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Bye, let's see. Um, I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, remember, we're talking about restaurants and we're talking about serving and taking food orders, right? And at the same time, today we are going to be talking about requests how to make polite requests. And you will know the difference between making a polite but formal request and an informal way of making a request, right? Okay, check these two questions. What are the steps for taking an order in a restaurant? Remember, that was uh, what we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about steps we were talking about procedures, right? Uh, that we do for different activities. And right now the procedure or the steps that you're going to tell me are the ones for taking an order in a restaurant. And then you will tell me your opinion about the waiters that remember all the orders. Yeah, have you seen waiters that when you tell them, well, I want this and this and this, and they don't write anything. And then they tell you, okay, your order is this, 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 this. And you go like, what? <laughs> How do you remember? Okay, so we're going to be talking about that today. Well, I'm going to share uh, these questions with you because um, these are not in the manual, right? Okay. I have some scissors that I use, but now it doesn't want to give them to me. Now it's back. Okay. I'm going to share the questions, right? I'm going to share them there in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. So you go discuss the questions. Let's see. Le estaba dando problema a Ana para entrar. Pero qué bueno que logró. Sí, quizás como es otra compu, ¿verdad? No le quería el, el equipo. A veces se pone de mala. Y no Peter, quiere... I was trying in the enlace that you sent us. Ajá. At Inglés Corporativo Sendas by the phone. But I couldn't. So that's why I... I... But but the one that is here, the one that somebody shared, who's this? <laughs> the, the the one that somebody shared was was good, fortunately, right? Okay, perfect. What did I do was uh, get into the computer in the platform Zoom. 
not yeah. for the enlace, just uh, I use the ID and the password in, in with oh, this, that's that's I could. Way. Definitely, definitely that's another way for entering. Vaya, I have pasted the two questions there in the chat. And what you're going to do right now, I'm going to start sharing. I'm going to send you in groups for you to discuss those two questions. Remember yesterday we were talking about steps, right? Procedures, processes. So what you're going to tell me is what is the procedure or what are the steps that a waiter follows when taking an order? Okay. There we go. Okay. Ready, ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Perfect. There you go. Try to join a room. Try to join, try to join. Bueno, Diego is driving. Jose Alberto, hello. No, este, es igual, yo pensé que, no, hoy sí no me quería dejar de conectar, pero sí, igual, me mojé, vine tarde, porque también aquí fue como diluvio, yo vi así como viento y todo feo. Sí, horrible, pero bueno, ya estamos en casa, gracias a Dios. Okay. Eh, la teacher ha compartido en el grupo de WhatsApp las dos preguntas que vamos a responder. Ok. La primera, what are the steps for talking an order in a restaurant? What are the steps for taking an order in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. uh, First, mm. primero llevan el menú a la mesa. Hacer como <coughs> llevar el menú a los clientes. Take the menu, we give the menu to the clients, to the give customer. The menu to the client. For the first questions, what are the steps for taking an order in a restaurant? Mm, only taking an, an order. Um, first seria will be a show the menu. Yes. Second. <clears throat> Take our order. Mm -hmm. Take our order. Take an order. Here. Uh, confirm the order. Yes. Sí, por favor. Last one. Um, match the order with the table, with the number of the table.
puedo escribirlas para que las podamos ver. Serve the food. Food and drink. Uh -huh. Another steps, another step. And any case, um, the uh, the. No sé, eh, y al principio también no se podría incluir que donde se enseña el menú. Y ofrecer la especialidad. Sí. Sí. Bueno, vamos yes. a ver cómo, cómo, cómo se escribe. Offering. ¿no? Offering, ¿no? I think that I show the menu. Oh. Offering. The, the dish of the day. Uh -huh. Customers are are ready for order. Yeah, order for or for ordering. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, the teacher is going to come. <laughs> I mean, yeah. order. Ah, uh, yes. Pedir ordering. Number five. Uh, the customer does don't have any specific uh, idea the waiter offer. Sometimes don't you don't you remember that if you don't have or if you don't didn't decide, no has, has been decided, hasn't been decided uh, what you are going to eat. They offer you, you can eat this or you can eat what, or we have a promotion like this, could be nice for five people. I mean, if you don't have clear, what are you going to Hi, Carlos, Elda, Elmer, right? Okay. No. No. Carlos, no. Oh, sí. Hi. <laughs> no, Carlos, <laughs> I don't know. Just the Carlos. <laughs> I'm changing your name again. 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 Qué barbaridad. Who is coming? Give the menu to the customer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three. Okay. Number four, and then to, to the order. The order. Take yeah. the order. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. And then confirm the order. Mm -hmm. Or okay. repeat the order. No, confirm the order. Oh, yeah. Confirm the order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before deliver order. Confirm mm -hmm. the order and the 
um, the next will be deliver teachers. How? Uh, maybe just that because the answer said the steps for taking the order. The, the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number six. Can you um, can you share of your display? No. Alberto, okay. And and then at the last or at the end of the conversation. He repeat the order and that's it. Confirm Confirm the order. At the end, the waiter confirm the order. And, and what? And that's it. <laughs> um, Así como que si está bien, se envía como cocina el pedido, algo así. And if everything, everything is okay, it's okay, the order is sending to the kitchen. Así. To be prepared. To prepare. Or for prepare. For prepare. To be, to be prepared, she said. To be. To, to be. be. To be. To be prepared. Bye. Ay. To be prepared. Pero que vamos a corregir. If, and if, if it's there. If it's no conozco esta computadora. Everything okay or right? I know, and if it's everything, no, así estaba bien. And if everything is right, or okay, everything is okay. The order is sending to the kitchen. Bye. Mm -hmm. Le... Servir. Ah, okay. When the food is ready, when the food is ready. The waiter serve it. Serve. 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 Es como validar, validate with o oh, check, check. Así se escribirá, validate. Ajá, validate. O decir, check. Check. Every I works, but and you works. You work. Uh -huh. <coughs> so a skin in your work. In your work. Oscar. 
Dígame. Ahí se lo mandé al, al, al pasar, le mandé skill that help them to be more efficient, efficient in the world. Ahorita. Se lo mandé al WhatsApp. Ah, ya. Ahorita. Lo... Ahorita lo copio aquí. Creo que yo lo había puesto con chingari. Teacher, mm -hmm. tell me. Uh, uh, in, in, my, in, my, in my house, there aren't. <coughs> there aren't. Electricity. There isn't electricity in your house. No. Wow. A ver cuánto me dura la carga de teléfono. Mm. Yeah, there are many areas without electricity because of the rain. Yes. <coughs> que por la lluvia está afectando. Yes. Yeah, it was too, too strong. Too strong rain. How are you doing? Are you about to finish? Yeah, finish. Okay, let's Se go. Puede Excellent. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Diego a tres. ¿A un Diego? Let's see first question. Let's share it. What are the steps for taking an order in a restaurant? Tell me. What are the steps for taking an order? One volunteer, only one, 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 one. Wait, oui, teacher. Yes. Okay. One. I am going to share in my, my, cla my classmate is going to read. Perfect. Wait, wait. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, number one, the waiter greeting to the customer. Number two, the waiter gives them the menu for uh, them to decide. Number three, and uh, the customer have time to decide which will be the menu. Number four, the white the waiter come back and ask if the customer are ready for ordering. Number five, when the customer do not know, <coughs> not know what to order, the waiter offer a special dish or promotion. Mm -hmm. Number six, then the waiter takes the order and offers something to drink. Uh, seven at the end, the waiter confirms the order and what is, and uh, if everything is of the order, is sending to the kitchen to be prepared. Uh, when the food is ready, the waiter serves. 
at last the waiter validate the order to check if everything is right. Excellent. Nice. <coughs> nice. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have another volunteer? No more volunteers. Uh -huh. No more. <gasps> okay. Mm, <teacher. laughs> okay, go ahead, Edwin. Uh, I share this to my screen. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, for number one, what are the steps for taking an order in a restaurant? Uh, show the menu and offer the dish of the day. Take the order. Confirm the order, uh, match the order with the number of the table, uh, serve the food and drink, and offer a dessert. For number two, question number two, what do you think about the waiters that remember all order? Uh, they have a good attitude for the take order. Uh, pay attention to customer requirements, write the order in the ticket, Read the order to the customer for confirm and identify the number of the table with the number of the order. Nice, nice. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. Now, <coughs> what do you think? What do you think about waiters that have a terrible memory but very good memory and they remember uh, all the order but from memory what do you think about that mm -hmm. i think that they have a lot of experience in being waiter uh -huh. and have a a special ability for yeah for remembering right mm -hmm. yes that's true i remember many things that i teach after many years so yeah that what you say that's true probably it <clears throat> has helped has helped them remember Okay, nice. And it's next, next. Now let's go. Bueno, more. Let's go to this. Let's talk about might. <laughs> let's see. When do we use a might? Check. The last one and the one we are talking about today is request, right? But we do not use might only for request. We use it for talking about possibility, for giving suggestions and for making requests. And the same happens with could. We use could for talking about possibility, for making suggestions and for giving or for making requests. Take the example. The phone might be in the kitchen. Then you have a second sentence. Peter might be stuck in traffic. Right now, many people might be stuck in traffic, right? Peter might not be stuck in traffic. So you can make an affirmative or a negative sentence, right? It can be affirmative or negative. But with might, I cannot use a contraction. So I cannot say might, it doesn't exist, right? So you say might not, might not. So when talking <coughs> about you can make, or you can talk in affirmative or also I'm going to use the pencil or in negative. The phone might be in the kitchen. 
Peter might not be stuck. Or Peter might be stuck. Mm -hmm. Also, we use might to talk about suggestions. For example, when you say uh, you might, and remember we were saying yesterday that we use might with want. So you say you might want to suggest that you, uh, to suggest that to the committee. You might want, yeah? You might want to catch a taxi. You might not want to catch a taxi. So you use might with want or might with like. You might like to eat before class, right? You might want to be at home when the rain, when the rain starts, okay? Might want, that is for suggestions, right? So I cannot say you could want, but I say you might want. This is formal and this is for making suggestions. And for making requests, I will say might, but as it is a question, I'm going to put the, the model at the beginning. Might I ask a question? Might I have coffee? Might I ask who has been invited to the party? Yes. This is very British, you know. Using might in a request is very British. The, um, what we would use more in a, in a request is could. Could I ask you a question? Could I have a cup of coffee? Could I, have, could I ask who has been invited to the party? So it would be more could, right, in this case. Here you could perfectly use could. Could. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I cannot use could because I cannot say you could want. I say you might want. But if you want to use could in the suggestion, you can say you could suggest that to the company, right? You could catch a taxi. So you will have to substitute all might want to. This, it's might want to. Instead of might want to, you can put could for making a suggestion. Yeah, so you could suggest that to the committee. You could catch a taxi. You could, you could not catch a taxi. So there is no pos there is no possibility, right? Or as 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 a possibility, you can say hmm, you could not catch a taxi, right? But the suggestion as a suggestion is better in affirmative. Could now. Let's go for some other questions, check. Uh, we say, and as today we're talking about requests, right? There are some other models that we can use when we're talking about requests. And one of them is would you, would you, could you, would you, or can you, right? These are some other models that we use, but, uh, we use them to make requests, okay? Now, uh, if we use would you, it's more formal uh, than will you and could you. So we have would you, would you, would you open the door for me? Yes, instead of saying, could you, you can use perfectly, would you? Would you open the door for me? That, is, that would be like, abrirías la puerta para mí o me abrirías 
la puerta, remember that the that would is the ending iría, right? Would you would you open the door for me? Would you pass me the salt? Would you close the window? Would you give me a glass of water? See? Or you can also use could you. Could you give me a glass of water? Could I have a, a hamburger? Could I have a, a soda? Right? Or you can use will, but remember, will and can are less formal than would and could. If you want to be very formal, use would or could or might, right? But if you want to be less formal, you can use will you or can you. Can you pass me the salt? Can you give me a glass of water? Of course, people will say, yeah, sure, why not? That it's, it's less formal. So it depends on where you are and what the situation is and how formal you want to be, right? And the same happens with will. You can perfectly uh, make a request with will, but it will be less formal than would and could. I don't know if you have question here. Questions? Could you repeat it again, just for confirm? Okay. Okay, when we say, I was telling you, when you, you have four models right here, we already said that we can use might in a request, but it's very British, right? When you use might, it's like, sounds more British than American, right? But if you want to make a polite request, uh, use in American English, you can use would you or could you? So you say, uh, would you pass me the salt? Or if you are in a restaurant and you want to give or you want to make an order, you can say, would you, mm, would you give me a hamburger? Would you give me a glass of water? Would you give me a cup of coffee? So you can use would you or could you, right? Could you, could you give me a Coca-Cola? Yes. Could you give me two burritos? So you could. But if you say, well, no problem. This is not such a formal restaurant. So I can be a little bit informal. Uh, you can use will you. Oh, can you? But can you is like the least, it's very informal, right? It's very, very informal. So it is uh, polite. Yeah, but very informal. It's better to say, can you give me a hamburger than to say, give me a hamburger, right? <laughs> of course, but it's very informal. Will and can are informal. So the two formal are these two. Will is Informal, but the most informal one is can. But you can use it, no problem. Teacher, mm -hmm. excuse me. Can. If you are talking with your friends, ah, close no. friends, okay. will you yeah, can you? Exactly. That's what I was going to tell you. If you're talking with your friends, you don't need to be so formal, right? You're not formal with your friends. Then you can use can you. Anna, can you lend me your book? You don't say, would you lend me your book? Right? Can you pass me the dictionary? You don't say, could you pass me the dictionary? Because that would be more formal, right? So remember, uh, these requests are not just in a, in a restaurant, right? You can make requests in any situation in your life. For example, if I, if I am talking with an older person, it's I can say- Could you or could you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I am talking with my boss, would you, could you, of course. Could you? Yeah, it depends on how close you are with your boss, <laughs> right? Some people are very, very close with the boss. But if you're not so close, it it would be better to be more formal and to use this too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have something else here, check. And this is what I was telling you, right? More formal, would you? 
but could you less formal will or can, yeah? You can also use them, uh, they are models of requests, right? But you can also use them uh, made for offers, right? If you want to, uh, to offer something or offer help, you can say, may I help you? Instead of, can I help you, right? May I help you? May I give you a hand? May I open the door for you? You know, may can also uh, be used for permission, right? May I go to the bathroom, but not in this case. If you want to use may for an offer, it's like uh, always telling that you want to do something for someone, right? That's an offer. When you would say that you want to do something for someone, for example, if you say, may I open the door for you? But if you want somebody to ask the door for you, so you're not offering, I'm going to offer the door for you. I want you to open the door for me. Then you say, can you open the door for me? So see, this will be a request. Can you offer, can you open the door for me? A request. May I offer the door, may I open the door for you? That's an offer. See, I cannot use may for a request, but I use may for an offer and also for a permission, right? or for possibility. When you use may, um, eh, talking about possibility, it has the same meaning as might. So you say, it might rain tomorrow, right? It may rain tomorrow. In that case, the meaning is exactly the same. But I cannot use might for making an offer. Definitely no, okay? I don't know if you can see the difference between each of them. Yes, no. Question? Yes, teacher. I see the difference. Perfect. Well, let's move here. Check. We use model verbs will and can in less formal situations, whereas we use would and could in more formal situations. So you say, would you open the window? Remember, we're talking about requests, right? Right now, we are talking about requests. Uh, we already said that these uh, models can have more than one meaning, right? So they can be used in different situations and they can have different meanings. Okay, but right now we're talking just about requests. Would you offer, would you open that window? Would you pass me the potatoes? Would you lend me some money? Can I borrow your pen? Okay, these are requests, right? Would you, could you, will do, can I? Can I borrow your pen, but can you lend me your pen? So you, you see, there is a difference, right? Can you lend me? Can you lend me your pen? Can you lend me your pen? Or can I borrow your pen? It's the same, but you say, can I borrow? Can you lend me? Sí? Me puedes prestar, puedo tomar prestado. It's the same, right? It's the same. But I cannot say, can you borrow? Porque es como que te puedes prestar tu lapicero. O sea, la persona ya sola, right? Or can I lend me? Es que yo sola me voy a prestar algo. Then that's why you have to be very careful with this. Okay? Can I borrow? Can you lend me? Any question here? No? Nice, nice. No, teacher. 
perfect. Now, how do we answer? Because uh, sometimes, sometimes we we only learn to say yes, but we don't learn to say no, right? And we cannot say yes all the time. But sometimes we need to say definitely no. Okay, so if you want to say yes, imagine if I ask you, uh, if you say, can you, can you lend me your pen? And you, you can say, yes, I can. No, right? You don't say, yes, I can. You say, yes, of course. Or just, of course. Or you can say, yes, certainly. Yes. I would be happy to. If I tell you, can you give me a hand? I would be happy to, right? Can you open the door for me? I would be glad to. So have you seen there are uh, people who are always, that are always happy to help and they say, sí, por supuesto, claro que sí, con mucho gusto. Then that's the same way we ask, we answer in English, right? Okay. If you excuse me, what Tell is me. the meaning of this contraction, I'd? I means I would. Este hell I would, I would be happy to. Me encantaría, right? Pues este sería como, I would be happy to, eh? me encantaría. Y este estaría feliz de hacerlo, right? Mm -hmm. But, that you don't have to say yes all the time, right? Sometimes, eh, we need to say no, because imagine if I tell you, can you lend me your book? And you are using the book. You don't have to say yes, of course. You can say, but I cannot take the last questions. You can say, sorry that, um, me quedaron perdidas. You can say, sorry that I'm using it, right? Sorry, but I'm using it. Can you lend me your pen? I'm sorry, but I'm using it. It's, that means it's not possible right now, right? I, if I have to use it, I have to use it. I cannot lend it to you if I'm using it. Oh, here it is. If you want to be very informal, you can say, sure, okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that sometimes we say, aha, uh -huh, right? Aha, uh -huh. in Spanish, that'd be like, mm -hmm. that would be the, the form. I'm going to show you the, the negative one. So you can also give a negative answer, right? So you say, no, oh, sorry, no, sorry. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, sorry, I can't, I'm busy right now. If I tell you, can you help me? But you can't, in the moment you can say, sorry, I can't, I'm busy right now. I'd like to, but I can't, right? Can you lend me a hundred dollars? And you say, I like to, but I can't, right? I'd love to, but I'm busy right now. I'd love to, but it's not possible right now. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to say yes all the time. In some situations, you definitely have to say no, right? Okay, let's go for it. I don't know if you have any questions so far. No? Okay, I'm going to call attendance and then we will go for a couple of exercises. Let's see, Adriana Marcela. 
Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Nice. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Okay. David. Present teacher. Diego. Diego, Diego. No está Diego. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Emma Carolina. Emma. No está Emma. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. Estaba teniendo problemas, Jess dijo Jessica, con el internet. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen. Karen, Karen. Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Carl Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present Con teacher. Asia. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo Marcelo. Rodrigo. Ana Cristel. Present teacher. Carolina. Grace. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ok. Bueno, let's see. Carla. Carla. Sí. Sí. Ah, sí. No escuché. <ríe> quizás hubo falla de señal en el ratito. Yo dije, ay, quizás ya se le apagó. Pero no. No, es que, es que casi no escucho. Estoy escuchando bien cortado. Sí, el internet que seguramente está fallando. Vaya, hoy les voy a, yo les voy a compartir un documento allí en el, en el chat para que, some exercises, right, that we're going to do. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share it with you in the chat. Check it, check it, check it. I'm going to share it with you in the chat for you to do it, okay? Well, I share it with you in the chat. I'm going to send you in, in groups for you to do this exercise. There you go.
try to join. Tonight. Mm. Ah, no, 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 no. May, may I speak to Mr. Sí. Smith? Es más formal, es wood. 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 Uh -huh. Would Would you open the windows? Would you open the windows? It's polite. Um, Teacher, we. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Bye. Choose the most appropriate answer for expressing the idea specific in the parentheses. Formal polit request, o sea, una solicitud formal. Eh... Teacher, ¿será que la puedo abusar y puede repetir? como un rapidito cuál era la diferencia porque yo no estaba por favor vaya we were saying that you use these words for making requests that mm -hmm. would would and could are more formal right than can and will you can use can and will for for requests but they are not very formal the ones that are more formal and more polite are would and could and if you are speaking british might can be also used in in a british form to make a request right but if you're using american english it will be would or could or also if you want to be extremely formal you use would you mind okay when you want to get something from someone, right? That would be very, very formal. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. So the first one, it could be... Ah, vaya, ya lo vi. Yeah. 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 En el correo estaba. Sí, usted, pero... En el WhatsApp. Hey, ¿qué <laughs> Yo no tengo WhatsApp en la compu. Oh, so sorry. Bye. Bye. La uma grande. Yeah. Hey. Miren, Bye. Dice, choose the most appropriate answer for expressing the idea specified in parenthesis. I speak to Mr. Smith, please. Formal polite request. Well. Formal and polite. Would or would you mind if? What do you think? I would you mean if? Would you mind if if I speak to Mr. Bye. Number two, Lisa. Would I request? Could you, Bella? Could you open the door? I could you open the window. Le parece así. Sí, sí. 
Sí. ¿Y usted, José? Sí. Es la única, sí. Porque las otras son negativas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Así que está bien. Ok, bye. Dice, going to, buying two loaves of bread on your way home. Polite request. Would you, would you mind buying, would you buying, will you buying? ING. Will you? Will you buy in? Porque no es informal. Ahí dice polite request. Mm. Would you sería, digamos, vea, would you mind? Would you buy? In? ¿Y por qué estar así el would you? Podrías pasar comprando. Would you buy? In? ¿Cómo se traduce eso? When you when you use uh, in that case because you have the ing, uh, you use would you mind after would you mind we use ing. So you say would you mind buying? Te importaría. Mm -hmm. Entonces en this one is sí. would you would you? Sí. Would you mind? Would I speak? Bye. Aquí hasta la respuesta, would you mind if I borrow me press, pero borrow with no era tomar prestado. Ah, ah, justo lo que ella acababa de explicar. Prestado, would you mind if I borrow with your dictionary for an hour? Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I come to your party? Excuse for permission. Asking for permission. Mm. I want. I want. I want come to your party. Want. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? I want. Will not. Will not. Will you buy? Es una afirma, una afirmación. Sí. Lo que depende si es formal o no. Would you mind? Okay. Sería will. En la cuarta. Ese sí sería will, will borrow. Will borrow. Porque ya está will. No puede decir mm -hmm. will y will. Sí, Ahí sí es will, will borrow. Will borrow. Mm. Pueden usar los dos. Will caso. borrow. <clears throat> would you mean if I could? Uh -huh. I would could, you? Will borrow your direction? Okay. Es una polite request. Polite request. <laughs> And they will borrow, will in the form. Mm -hmm. I think. What do you think? Is will borrow? Mm. Would you mind if? 
But the, you can mind. use will you in a polite request. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can know. use will you, would you, will you, and can you. But uh, would you mind? It's like um. Te importaría. Formal. Uh -huh. pero, pero es formal. Yeah. Very. Formal. Very. And will borrow. The will borrow is informal. Mm -hmm. Uh, borrow. Would borrow, maybe? It's more it's more formal that that we borrow. Mm -hmm. The first borrow is past. I think it's will borrow. Would, would you mind will borrow your dictionary? Mm. Um, I think so. Like three, borrow, wood borrow, wood borrow. Oh, wool. I don't know. What do you think? Is wool borrow or will borrow? Helmet? I will borrow. I will borrow. Light request. And Elda? Wood borrow. Wool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the next question? What in the next exercise? And the seven. Number seven. seven. Mm -hmm. Would you mind not to smoke? Not smoking. Not smoking here. Uh, not, not smoking. Oh. Or not smoke. Mm -hmm. Not. No, it's not smoking. Would you mind? Mm -hmm. I think it's not smoking. Elda, what do you mm. Or not to smoke. I'm taking you out in a minute. Oh. Hi, hi. Ready, ready. Yes. A ver, number one. What do you have in number one? Would. So you will say, would I speak to Mr. Smith, please? When you make a request with would, it has to be you. Would you? Right. In that case, if you want another person to speak to Mr. Smith, then yes, you can say, would you speak to Mr. Smith? But as who will speak to Mr. Smith is you, but the best option here will be may. May. This one. Um, I know it's in work, right? <laughs> Teacher. That's the word document. Okay, so we say me. 
May I speak to Mr. Smith? What about number two? Which will be your best option for number two? Cool. 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 Could you open the window, you... please? Yes, could you open the windows, please? Number three? Is, um... Will you? Will you? Polite? Hmm? That I cannot say, will you buy in? I can say, will you buy, but no, will you buy in? Would you? Would you mind? buying. Uh, would you mind is an expression that is extremely uh, formal and extremely polite. Entre más formal quiere ser, más palabras por, entonces usamos would you mind, right? Would you mind, would you mind? Uh, buying? Después de would you mind, we use the ing form of the verb. Okay? That's a new structure, right? That's totally new. So you say, yes. would mine es como decir, te importaría. ¿Sí? Te importaría comprar pan. Yeah. Would you mind? What about it, number four? Would you mind if I? Queen Brown. Mm -hmm. If I borrowed, right? Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary? Like when you say, te importaría que tomara prestado tu diccionario, right? Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary? Teacher, but uh, borrowed is in not past. Sí, yeah. así va la estructura. Te, impo uh -huh. te importaría si prestara tu diccionario por el if. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Por el if. Would you mind if I borrowed your dictionary? Ok. ¿Te importaría si prestara o si tomara prestado tu diccionario? Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I... Tomando en cuenta esta referencia, which will be your best choice? Want. Didn't. Didn't, exactly. Didn't. Do you mind if I didn't come to the party? Mm -hmm. ¿Te importaría que no fuera tu fiesta? Ya fuera. I don't remember in Spanish <laughs> what is the name of that structure. Right, but in English, it is a, it has to be in past, okay? Now, Mrs. Redding, y hay una coma, o sea que a Miss, you're telling that to Mrs. Redding, right? Mrs. Redding. Would you mind? Mm, can I use would you mind? But there is something missing here if I use, would you mind, right? So it's not possible. Uh -huh. Would you? <laughs> I was trying to read Adriana's lips. Yeah, could you? So you say, could you lend me, could you lend me $200 till next week, please? Number seven, would you mind? When we use this structure, would you mind? In affirmative, remember that the verb goes in ing. When we use it in negative, we use not. No solo no, but not. And you say, would you mind? Not smoking here. Would you mind not smoking here? Yes, that would be the structure. What about number eight? Betty? Informal, right? 
can you can you exactly Betty, can you help me with this grammar exercise, please? Number nine. Could I use your phone, please? Sorry, you. No permission. Which is the model that you use for permission? And it's informal. Want. Hmm? Permission. Want. permission? You can. Can't. can't. Uh -huh. Sorry, you can't. Remember that you use may for permission, but for asking for permission. When the permission is denied, we use can't. Mm -hmm. No permission. And the last one, could I, could I stay here for a while? Yes, you? Yes, you go. Permission? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we, eh, aunque estemos usando could, is present, right? I use could because I want to be polite, but I'm talking about the present. Okay. Now we go to the next exercise. Check. Well, let's work with this one first. We're going to put we're going to put the words in order to make sentences, right? Now you know very well the structure would you mind. So let's do number one. Number one will say, would you mind sending me some money? Yes. What about number two? Could you? Could you help me? Help me do the homework? Do this homework? Uh huh. Could you help me? Thank you. Could you help me do this homework? Do this homework. Help me comil. Would you help me, right? Could you help me do this homework? Yeah. Could you help me do this homework? What about next? I'm going to help you with this one because this is new. I wonder if I could borrow your car. This is another very, very formal request, right? Very formal. Uh, when you say I wonder, that means me preguntaba. <laughs> Como cuando usted llegaba, ¿verdad? Estaba chiquito, llegaba donde su mamá. Y me preguntaba, si me daba permiso. So, me, me preguntaba yo primero antes de preguntarle a mi mamá. So, that is, I wonder if. I wonder if. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could okay. borrow no. your car. Yes. I wonder. No, le decía. Ah, huh? she would say no. No, le decía en lo, lo padre. Exactly. And that's the no. thing. Eh, when you know, when you know or you expect that the answer will be no, no, is when you go like, 
trying to be more formal and trying to be more polite. And then is when we go for, I wonder if I could, oh, I was wondering if I, so that is very, trying to be very formal, right? Oh, would you mind if I use your computer? That's trying to be very formal because you know that the answer would probably be no. Okay, what about this one? This is it. Mm -hmm. Could you give could me you a hand? Give me, uh -huh. Could you uh -huh. give me a hand? Uh -huh. Could you give me? Could you give me a hand? Mm -hmm. Could you give me Will a hand? Would you this open that, that window. window, please? You open you. that window, please. Okay, would you open? That window. Okay, what about the next one? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. What about the next one? Do you mind if I open it? The window. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I open up the window? If I open. Okay. I open it. Aha. Do you do you mind if I opened the window? I'm sorry. And the last one. May permission. May I turn on the conditioner? Turn. Uh huh. Air conditioner. May I open? No, may I turn on the air conditioner? Yes. Very good. Any questions here? Questions? No questions. No. No. Okay. Well, let's go to the next exercise. Here, I'm going to send you to the rooms again. And this is easier than the previous one, right? You have to use the words, this ones, to complete the sentences. I'm going to share it there in the chat. And I'm going to make a different group to send you work. I'm going to paste it there in the, in the chat. But, No, I'm going to I'm going to make different groups for you to change a little bit. Nice, nice. There you go. Try to join. And please write two extra requests. Write two extra of your own.
try to join. Grupo. Ah, ¿sí? El grupo de WhatsApp. El grupo de WhatsApp está en las preguntas. Sí, estoy intentando ver si las Ahorita. puedo pasar. Pero <coughs> no creo poder. Pero yo si me meto, si me meto yo el WhatsApp, yo ¿Sí? si me meto, ajá, yo si me meto WhatsApp, eh, usted me, me va a oír, pero lo, la pantallita se va a ver negra, la mía. Creo, como el, el, con el celular ahorita lo hago. Está bien. Pero si quiere, voy a tratar de compartir. Aquí está. Vamos a ver. Uy, ya me iba a salir. <risa> ya me ha pasado a mí. Sí, de un solo se me iba a ir ahí. Ok. Ahí estoy compartiendo. Pero okay. lo tengo en Paint porque no tengo Word. Vamos a ver. Dice, could you dissolve this? Could you... Pero que ahorita dice que me trago este volado. Can you pass in the salt, please? I think. Porque si le ponemos la... ¿Qué va? Puedes... Sería puedes... Pasarme, va. If, ah, but if, if you're in a restaurant, if you are at the restaurant, you could, you could say, could you pass me the sauce, pass please? Uh -huh. But I don't have any pencils here. You can, you can do that if you are sitting on a table with somebody, <laughs> right? When you are eating. Mm -hmm. It's better if, if we say, Could you pass me the salt? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. If you eat no, salt, I don't eat salt. <laughs> yeah. If Maybe you... for zucchini, zanahoria, or pepino. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. No, and there are people that like to eat a lot of salt when they are eating in the, in the table. Teacher. Tell me. Can we ask something? Uh-huh. If I... It's a supposedly, a supposition. I don't know how to say. If I don't have energy and I am using my cell phone and I have low battery, mm -hmm. eh, can, could I eh, leave the session and get again to the session at the, at the attendance? No, no, no problem. What you can do, uh, close the camera, and that will uh, waste you less battery. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you if you close the if you close the the, the camera right now, it will let uh, you will spend less battery. But if I don't have energy at home, you don't have energy at home right now. No, yes, no. I'm asking you because one of our classmates. Sí, Carlita. Ajá. Carlita has no battery. And energy at home. Ajá. No, but in the, independientemente, si se sale ahorita y entra al final o si se llega hasta donde logra llegar, igual le va a tomar los minutos que esté siempre. Ah, ok. Ok. Tampoco. Sí, y ahorita ya falta poquito. Ok. Ya. Yeah. 
Would you mind? Oh, Carlita está sin, sin cámara porque así le gasta menos. Menos energía. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, number two. Would, Would you mind? Lend, lend me some money. Lend me. Lending me some money. The mm -hmm. teacher explained us that when we add ING, mm -hmm. You, would you mind lending me some money? Number three. Will you, you help, help me, me with these heavy bags, please? Mm -hmm. Number five. Number four. Do you mind if, if I, I open opening, the window? Opening the windows. Mm -hmm. yes. Opening the window is hot in here. Number five, would you be quiet, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Number six, can I borrow your copy book? I mm -hmm. need to copy some lessons. Borrow, sí, in present. Yes. Can I borrow your copy book? Do you want to read it, Mauricio? Okay. Number one. Can you pass me the salt, please? Number two. Would you mind lending me some money? Number three. Will you help me these heavy bags, please? Number four. Do you mind if I open in the window? It's hot in here. Number five. Will you be quiet, please? Number six, can I borrow your copy book? I need to copy some lesson. Okay. Carlita, could you read or no? Don't worry. Sí, I can read. Okay. <clears throat> can you, pero no sé cuáles pusieron. Can you uh, pass me? Pass. Ah, can you pass the salt? Can you pass the salt, please? Mm -hmm. Mm. En la otra es lending. lending. You might lend me some money. Uh, would you help? Would you help with this heavy box, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Opening. Do, do you mind? Do you mind if I open in the window? It's hot in here. Uh, would you be quiet, please? Mm -hmm. can, can I borrow your copy book? I need to copy some lesson. Okay. We finished, teacher. My turn. Can I, can you pass the salt, please? Would you mind lending me some money? Will you help me with this heavy bag, please? Do you mind if I open in the window? It's hot in here. Would you be quiet, please? Can I borrow your copy book? I need to copy some lessons. Okay. Did you make the homework? nítido este mi hermano nos vemos allá sí. bueno opiado hola 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 teacher hola teacher hi hi did you finish yes. yeah we finished uh, 
Okay. Solo que aquí tengo. Solo para corroborarlas, teacher. Porque okay. ya terminamos. Este, voy a volver a proyectar. Aquí está. En la 1 pusimos Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass me the salt? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, segunda, would you mind lend me some money? That would be letter C. Lending. Lending. Mm -hmm. Would you mind lending me some money? Mm -hmm. Number three. Okay. Uh, will you help me with these heavy bags, please? Uh -huh. um, number four. Do you mind if I open the window? Mm -hmm. Yes. In, the, in here. Uh -huh. Let us see. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Would you be quiet, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can I borrow your copy, copy book? I need to copy some lesson. Yeah, great. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Nice, nice, nice. I will take you out then, if you're ready. Okay, coming, coming. Couple of people. Okay, 15 seconds. Teacher, before we start the, the, the task, uh -huh. can I ask you something? Tell me. Could I ask you something? Excuse sure. me. <laughs> uh, in the in the homework in mm -hmm. the platform. Yes. For for this week, the task number two sent us to a video, but they don't say what they want to do. It doesn't say what they want you to do. No. Mm -hmm. Can I show you? Sure. In this one, I don't know if we have only listened, we already listened the, the video, but in this place, or I'm making a mistake for the homework, I don't understand. Let me get it. Oh, before, before Anna, just uh -huh. let me tell you something. Vamos a ver. Fíjese que reporté la tarea, ¿se acuerdan ayer? La 1.1 está corregida. La, do, la, las, la otra, la 1.9, dijeron que no porque que en el manual así lo han puesto. Entonces, ni modo, lo vamos a dejar como estaba malo porque si no, nos lo va a poner mal. Oye, así es que en el número dos le ponen bond, eh, le ponen en la número tres, perdón, le ponen publicity stunts y en la número cinco le ponen bundling porque es la forma en que eh, pues los que hicieron el manual así lo pusieron. Entonces aquí así lo han tomado. Oye, así es que ahí lo ponen así para que no se los tome malo. Y la 1 en teoría ya está arreglada. Voy a verificar. Pues, a ver. No. No. No, no me la toma correcta. Vamos a ver qué me voy a show. 
no la han arreglado. No, no la han arreglado todavía. La voy a volver a reportar porque me dijeron que estaba arreglada, pero no. Teacher, la número uno todavía me sale. Sí, todavía no. Me dijeron que ya estaba, fíjense. Sí, pero sale todavía incorrecto. Sí. Así es que ahorita yo lo reporto de nuevo, pidiendo perdón por molestar tanto, pero, pero sí quiero que no quede pues listo ya, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí lo mando de regreso al jefe. Para que lo vean. Uy, se me ha trabado mi cámara. Bueno. Déjenme ver una cosa. Fabricio, ¿qué pasó? I see a number there, but... Eh... I don't, I don't know why. Okay, bueno, let's check. Eh, les comentaba lo de la tarea. Ah, no sé qué fue lo que se me cerró. Bueno. Eh, in the, nom you say number, number one, Ana, of unit two. Is that correct? Ana. Teacher, number 2.0. Number 2. Number 2.0. 2. 2.2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. ¿Qué dice? What do these words mean? No, ahí no la manda a ver ningún video. Ah, pues yo estoy viendo más. No. Ni point two three. Ah. Two point three. Ajá. No, pero es que todavía no hemos llegado a la videoconferencia ocho. Esta es la siete. Vaya, recuerden, las tareas son los lapicitos, right? Los lapicitos son la tarea. Y los que son así como de movie son los videos de la clase. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, el video de la clase todavía, la, la de ayer, todavía no está subido. ¿ya? Pero el de ahora no, no puede estar subido todavía. En la número, en el 2.2, que es su primer tarea basada en la clase de ayer y en la clase de ahora, no... No, no le pide ningún video, Ana. Ok. Es el número 2.5. 2.5. It says, read the following prompts, decide whether they are good service or bad service. No, no hay ningún, no le pide video tampoco. Add the adverbs to complete the sentences. Watch the order. Dice, no dice watch a video. Watch the order. If first, then, after that, finally, and next. Ese es el orden que usted tiene que respetar. No, 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 no le manda a ver ningún video. 
Ahí dice watch, watch the order, para que usted vea cuál es el orden que tiene que ir. El, el, los años. Pero no, no la manda. No la manda a ver, a ver ningún video. No sé si ya vio. It says watch the order, no watch the video, right? Yes, it could be. I was made a mistake. Hoy por hoy, eh, eh, recuerden en esta unidad van dos clases, una tarea. Entonces, por ejemplo, hoy tienen tarea de la, de la clase de ayer y la de hoy. Para mañana, para mañana no hay tarea. Para el jueves sería la tarea del video de ayer y del video de hoy. A menos, a menos por supuesto, que, que usted haga, puede hacer... La primera parte de la tarea, no problem. Pero y, ser, no sé. y será porque if I have the platform in Spanish, the homework are in Spanish. ¿Cómo? The homework, I read it in Spanish. Ah, a saber, pero no, aquí está en in, in English. Look, it's true. No. Uy. Solo tiene que ponerlo en inglés, Ana. Okay. Arriba, donde dice traducción. Ajá. Bueno, aparte de abajo, aparece en la página inglés o español y se lo traduce a inglés todo de nuevo. Ajá. Sí, porque a mí nunca me ha aparecido en Spanish. That's really strange. <laughs> It's new for me. <laughs> uh -huh, for me too. I have never seen it in Spanish. Well, even if I read the instructions in Spanish, I, I feel it strange. <laughs> I feel it strange. Vaya. Let's see. No puedo abrir mi cámara, fíjense. Vamos a ver. Mi cámara se quedó. Bye. Vamos a ver. Number one. Can you pass? Can you pass me? Sí. Mm -hmm. Can you pass me the salt, please? Can you pass mm -hmm. the salt? Number two, would you mind? Lend. Lending, yeah. Would you mind lending me some money? Number three. Lending is. Sí, lending me. Number lending. Three, will you? Help me. Hmm? Help. Will you help me? Help me. Help me. Will you help me with these heavy bags? Yeah. Do you mind if I open the window? Open. open it. And, uh, mm -hmm. Te importaría si abriera, right? If I opened. Now, number five, would you? Be. Be. Yes. Would you be quiet, please? And, and Miss, hmm? just a quick question. Yeah. Why, why you put open? Because it, this is very easy pass. You. You say in action in present. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you mind if I open the window? It's all here. The, the translation is, te importaría mm -hmm. si abriera, right? That's like to be more formal. Te importaría si abriera la ventana? But in this case, you can have both options. Uh -huh, because it ah, is, ya, ya, uh, ya, this ya, is ya. no uh, abriera. This is uh, open. Yeah, because it's abri. A video, uh -huh. Yeah. If you're right, Rodrigo, thank you. If you say, would you mind, would you mind, would, ¿verdad? Con would, 
Would you mind if I opened? But do you mind if I open? Yeah. Thank you so much. Now let's go for the last one. Can I? Can I borrow? Borrow. 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 Eh, ay, qué bonita raya. Bueno, remember that after a moda, we will never use to. Right, that's a very common mistake that sometimes we tend to say, um, can I to go? You no, know, definitely you say, can I go? May I to open? Mm -mm. You say, may I open, right? Always after a model, use the verb in the base form, no with two. Okay, let's go for the last attendance vamos a ver Adriana Marcela present teacher Alicia present teacher Carlos Josué present teacher David I'm here Diego present teacher Edwin present teacher Elda present teacher Elmer Emma, Jessica, Jose Alfredo, present teacher, Jose Alberto, present teacher, Karen Janet, Karen Stephanie, hoy se queda conmigo Hilda. Eh, Carla. Present teacher. Lisette. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. Rosa Hilda. Present. Luis Mauricio. Okay, perfect. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Sorry que lo despida con cámara cerrada, pero mi cámara se me trabó. Dice Don't que worry. No se pudo iniciar la cama. You, you, you teacher. You that you had a Thank night you, teacher. Good night. Good night. night. ¿Qué dice Ana? We hope you that you have a, así es correcto. If you have a had nice that. day. Yay. Yes, it was very nice. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. See you bye. soon. Bye bye. Good night. Hi, Elda. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Hello. Do you have any questions? Um. Any questions about today's class, yesterday's class, or the class of any of the other days? Uh, mm -hmm. No, How I don't are you think you're doing. How are you doing with the platform? Uh, um, I think it's easy to, to use it. Yeah, it's very friendly, right? Yes, yes. Very, very friendly. Not a, not a problem. Mm -hmm. How do you, is this your first, uh, your first course you take with us? Yes, it's the first one. Oh, and mm -hmm. how do you feel? Uh, I think comfortable. Okay, that's nice. I like it, <laughs> yes. That's nice. That's the idea, right? That you feel comfortable and you, 
you were learning at the same time. Yes, and I think that it's a good idea to talk with another student. Yes, you can feel more confident when you work and when you talk with other uh, colleague, right? Or somebody, okay. you know, it's at the same at the same level with you, it's like less stressing. <laughs> uh, yes. Less stressing than, oops, oh, I'm going to talk to the teacher. <laughs> I'm going to talk with a colleague, so another partner, it's the same. It's not a, it's, it's less stressing, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you have the chance to help each other. Yes. Because that's the idea, that you practice, that you share, you help each other so you get more confident at the at the same time when you are practicing and when you're discussing so that's that's nice 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 yes. <laughs> i thought you had you were coming from other courses uh, i start study but uh, a lot of years ago, English in uh, academy. And but it's good to have you here. Sorry, so, yeah, it's good to have you here, so you can reinforce a little bit your knowledge, right? Thank you. Yes, because I I forgot a lot of things about the, <laughs> the language. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Mm -hmm. that happens. The thing is that. When you are not using the, the language, it's very, very easy to forget it. Yes, and, and the grammar. <laughs> grammar, I know, I know. And the good thing is that here, sometimes we have grammar and in some other cases we have a vocabulary or we have listening, well, speaking. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have different things. I'm yes. Here, are you in the chat of the class? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, mm. I'm sharing, uh, I'm, I, I put it, <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm sharing with you the link for you to practice it. Uh, well, this is a link where you have a lot of exercises related to models or related to some other, some other things. The idea is that you take your time to, to practice it, to practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, the good thing is that at the same time you do the exercise, it can check it for you, right? Mm -hmm. I know, I know you're very busy and you have lots of things to do, but an extra, an extra practice is never bad, right? Yes, yes. So that's something very, very important to do. Okay. Okay, so you can go, you can enter, give it a check. And, and practice, right, a little bit. Mm -hmm. and of course, the, the, the book, the manual, has some videos that you can also use for practicing in your free time. At the end of every lesson, you always have a, there is a video or a link for exercises. That's always, always at the end of each lesson. Or oh, at the beginning, sorry, of each lesson, where you see the first part of the first page of the lesson. At the end of that page, you will find ah okay right two links. One link that is for a video. Sometimes there are two links for video. Mm -hmm. Some other cases there is one video, one reading, or one video and vocabulary, one video and structure. So that's something that you can that you can use to, to practice, mm -hmm. right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Here, we cannot put the videos. And we cannot put uh, many things because YouTube is always watching for the, 
for their rights, right? Mm -hmm. And if I put it there, they will say like, uh, 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 <laughs> you are not complying with the rights of other people. That's why we cannot put uh, videos, those videos here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can take the chance to, to watch them. Mm -hmm. yes. And okay. do a couple of practices there too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure, Elda. I oh, hope you have too. a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. I hope my camera opens tomorrow. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Bye bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care.